baby, on danger And I got bad to this baby, on flavors You never had none, baby, don't save her I swear to God, I never put you in no danger I hold the wheel while you gripping on my taser You know I'm born like an Indiana Pacer Today we have a package from AEM and this is something that I feel like a lot of cars should have. I had it on my Celica and it actually makes a big difference in handling. Basically you just undo those top two nuts over at the tower and then you slip this right into that area and basically it just sits there which is pretty sick. say to torque this down to about like 14 pound feet of torque but in reality I've never had a problem of making something a little bit too tight only a little too a little too loose because in the past I've torqued down my things to like 14 pound feet of torque like a little crap like that and then over time it would just become loose and it's like what the like what the actual heck oh my gosh guys this looks incredibly sick I know I have yellow center caps on the wheels um, honestly I might take that off because now we got ketchup and mustard going on but other than that, dude, that looks incredible. Like it changes the entire look of the car. And it fits literally so perfect in the engine bay. Really glad I went with this over the parent one. You guys already know, we got a new license plate frame. So now we gotta get rid of this one. I think it's uh, time for a little bit of switch up just for now. Oh crap, we're gonna keep this though. This is a, it's a nice one. We're gonna put it in my little collection. Just kindly screw it in that everyone knows um, I have an AEM front strut bar. AEM, if you're watching this video, please sponsor me. So right off the bat, guys, the car literally feels 95% predictable. And I say 95% mainly because it still feels comfortable. Like it's not stiff at all, as if you would full stiff your coilovers or anything. When you have bags, a lot of sway in your car you can't really go hard on turns and that's really what subarus are meant to do they're meant to go hard on turns you know that's what they're good at it's like a day and night difference obviously it's not the same as sway bars you know sway bars will literally change a lot for your car when it comes to handling but this literally does the job if you're not really in the market for some sway bars we're not trying to be that serious you just want you just want some spirited driving this is definitely the mod for you. Woo! There's pops and things. Oh my gosh, that was so loud. Woo! Hey, I haven't done that in a while. So if you're on air suspension and you notice you have that, that kind of like, kind of lost a little bit of performance when it comes to handling. You get a little front strut brace from AEM. I promise you it will not disappoint. I can't imagine how this strut bar would feel if you were on coilovers or even on stock suspension. Bags kind of take away that handling portion of your car. Ooh. Ooh. Oh man, it's so fun to drive now with this thing. Holy crack. Another look at it guys, it just looks absolutely killer. It looks so good, especially with the wrinkle finish on the red. Dude, day and night difference, I'm telling you. What's up guys, out here with my- Where we at Jonathan? I could talk, where we at Jaden? <laughs> I don't even know. Outside club, Outside club. Japan. Japan. Dot org. Not JP. Dot org. <laughs> the famous guy right here. Yo, say what's up for the vlog. Um, he ran a smaller tire spec, so his car is like super slim. Really like, oh, never mind. Okay, um, it, it looks really sick though. He doesn't like it. He said it rides like booty hole. But I think all his homies are bagged. That's actually really sick. Imagine being the only guy with coils. I, I think we got to get the whole crew on bags now. I think Andre's next. Yeah. I think I'm going to be cooler car. What's up, guys? So we're out here at school, and that's super sick. I don't know who owns that car, but <laughs> looks dope. We got Dana's car, and we got Chuck, and then we got my homie Ian over here. And then I parked. 
Over here. What's up? Yo. Yo. You got one gray center cap? Those two sides are um, gray and the other side are um, yellow. Yo, and it sounds like you need to go to the TNT Collision. Dude is such a menace. He literally came here just to roast me. If you guys are actually curious in the mods that I have for my car, I will put a little mod list in the description below so you guys could, I don't know, just catch up a little bit if you haven't been watching the other videos. The car is indeed super dirty. It did rain super, it rained super hard yesterday, so the car just went boom. But overall, I'm a little disappointed that the new mod that we have for the car isn't really visible from the outside, which kind of sucks, so we kind of got to pop the hood for you guys to see the sporty red that pops out from the strut brace. It looks super sick. I swear it just looks, um, looks so cool under the hood. It looks like I know what I'm doing. I'm just kidding. But little by little, we are doing so much to the WRX. I think it's time to cool down a little bit. I don't know. What should the next mod be for my WRX? There's Jonathan, he's about to leave. We're gonna go guess how much um, gas costs. First of all, let's go see how much 91 octane costs. Oh my gosh. So for, oh my gosh, that's a whole car part, guys. This sucks like California so much. 80 bucks for gas. If you guys are thinking of moving to California, don't, don't do it. it. It sucks. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.